Namaste, gods, goddesses, and emissaries of light. This is Dr. Shreya Tiana Rimatia. And if you are new to my channel, please like, subscribe, and do not forget to hit that notification bell so you can be updated on my latest and my current videos. Welcome, 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 everyone. I am about to share some knowledge. I'm about to drop some knowledge, okay? Now, most of this knowledge that I'm about to share with you, um, people pay me for, but I am under guidance from the Most High to expose you to this information because it's detrimental for your future. Okay, this is for the collective now. <clears throat> I hold keys that I'm going to give to you. Okay, everyone who clicks on this video is going to get an entry into the golden future. This is what the Most High is calling it. So if you were you know, ever told that you were going to reign with Jesus for a thousand years. That's all true. But the golden future comes before a thousand year reign of peace and prosperity. <clears throat> um, I've been channeling for the last two hours. All right. And here's what I've been told. I've been told to get to an to continue to encourage you to be courageous, to be strong, acquire wisdom. Now, the wisdom that God is telling you or the Most High is telling you to acquire is not wisdom from religion or text or books, but wisdom from within. Because you hold all of the secrets. You are the universe pushed inside out. Okay? Tap in, tap within, go within, because that's the only way to get out. Start meditating, start praying, start doing your prayer affirmations. Start speaking to the most high or the universe, your angels, your Ori, or your spiritual guides. Okay? Start speaking to the spiritual beings. Stop talking to the humans. Start speaking to the spirits and stop being afraid of them because they're here to guide you. You just can't see them. Okay. Um, twin flames. This is your message because you guys more than anybody. I'm going to be honest. It's going to be hard for you guys to enter into the golden future not saying that it's not possible but i'm just saying because most of you are focused on a 3d for those of you that are focused on a 3d you're not even going to make it to the golden era you have to do the spiritual work you cannot avoid it that is a prerequisite so um out of the chosen ones the twin flames you guys have it harder than anybody because your weight of responsibility is heavier and what you carry is a lot more than some of the other chosen ones so the brunt <coughs> excuse me i got instant lit oh actually it went out hold on y'all mm -mm, i need to i need to be in my zen moment one second Oh, no, it's still burning. I thought it went out. Anyhow, never mind me. So back to the twin flames. If you hold and you have come into contact with your twin flame, you better find a way to work it out. Even if y'all just friends. Because y'all purpose is to help usher in this new golden future. 
Okay? That is your purpose. That is your divine purpose together. Every single twin flame that lives at this now moment and that even those that have departed on the other side are still meant to help you from the other side. So it don't even matter that they're not here physically. But if you got your twin flame, your 20 twin twin in the flesh and you deliberately ignoring them, you're deliberately not responding and not replying to them and they are pure, baby, you're not going to make it. There's no reason to treat your, your, your twin, your other half of your soul like that. Because really you're abusing yourself. Whatever by, whatever by God you have, let them be. Drop them and move forward into this beautiful golden future where we're going to have vehicles that are going to be clean vehicles and swift and faster than the ones that we have flying vehicles. We're going to have skies that our eyes have not laid on the color schemes and the vividry of the clouds and the sky dancing. Man, I'm telling you guys, we're about to enter into, we are in the first year, the 50 year of the golden year or the golden future, excuse me, not golden year, but the golden future. We're in the first year now, 2024. We are at the door. We're not fully in yet. It's going to take us 49 more years for all of us to fully transcend, transform. And a lot of you healers are going to come up with healing modalities that are going to just kick disease in the ass. And disease is not even going to be heard of. This is what we're entering into. Okay? Look at us now like, you know, the Israelites, how they were in the wilderness. We're still in the wilderness. We're still, you know, pretty close, but not yet. Okay. <clears throat> so you have to get rid of fear and doubt. If you a person that's a negative Nancy, you better put you some subliminals on tonight, tomorrow, and listen to them bad boys. To drive that negativity out of you because you have to be positive as possible, as it's humanly possible in order to make it into this new way of living, golden future, okay? Um, everything starts now. I'm just giving you the keys. Love. Peace and unity are the three keys that is going to allow you to enter into the golden future along with compassion. You have to be compassionate towards people and you have to have understanding of people. But it starts with you. You have to learn yourself first. You have to know who you are before the most high is going to allow you to go through that gateway because the golden future is the gateway into the thousand year reign where Jesus and some other teachers, Buddha, okay, just to name a few, I can't give it all away. Remember, I'm a gatekeeper. I have more knowledge than what you have, but some of the knowledge I have to keep because it's not safe. I'm going to be doing more teachings on my Patreon, so you might want to join that because some of the information that I'm discussing, um, the powers that be, I don't want them to have this information. But because the most high put it on my heart, I'm sharing how you can enter. You can't be judgmental. So if you're a person that judges people, Mm -mm -mm. That's something you have to get rid of and you have to get rid of that now. So you might want to find you some subliminals to help you to not be so judgmental. <clears throat> because once you're an enlightened being and you have to be an enlightened being in order to enter 
into the golden future. Why do you think so many people are passing away? Because they're not at that frequency. And if they are enlightened and they passed away, that's because they have to help from the other side. They have a bigger calling. Okay. So what am I saying to you? I'm saying work on your iniquities, work on your imperfections and perfect them. Because although we are in the flesh, we are infinite. We are perfectly perfect, not imperfectly perfect, but we're perfectly perfect. We are. Get your shift together. Because we are all at this moment. Today is, well, yesterday was the open portal, 5-5. Five, five. And we are still in that energy. Don't get it twisted. Then we're moving into the energy of the new moon, which is on Tuesday, the 7th. Make sure you take advantage of that to manifest what you want. Bring it in. Bring, <clears throat> bring it in. You hear me? Yeah. So I say all of this to say. If you are a Doubting Thomas or a negative Nancy, please get that out of your system now. Don't be doubting. No. This is not something that you can gradually put yourself in and you can just scratch your head and take your time with. Because the sorting from the wheat from the weeds is happening now. You can see this in all these people's sudden deaths that are going on around us. If you want to be there, if you want to know what sustainable living looks like, where we have clean energy, even for our homes coming into the home, sustainable energy, soil does not depleted from the nutrients that it needs in order for our food to grow. Round on homes. Our home should be in circles, not squares. Okay? All of our homes would be dome homes. All of our homes will look the same. We're going to have communal living like most people do in third world countries, so we call it. We'll be sharing the same, you know, laundry facility as our neighbor. We may even have communal showers where we shower outside of our home and not inside our home like they do in Africa, in India, in China. They get it. We don't get it. Our Independence in our selfish ways has ruined the earth. And we may not have toilets inside our homes. We may have to go into an outhouse and defecate there. Remember, this place is going to be very highly hygienic. So you're not going to have to worry about, you know, if I sit on the toilet, I'm going to catch something. Because everybody is going to have a certain diet that's going to help to, you know, keep the right pH balance. And... There's not going to be any polyamory. Sorry for those that are into that type stuff. Because once you operate from 5D and above, sex becomes more sacred. 
sex has always been spiritual, you guys, even though we do the physical act. Really, my twin flame taught me a long time ago that when you're intimate with your partner, spiral goes around you and your partner like an entanglement. And that is your vortexes intertwining with one another as you enjoy the transcendental aspect and the spiritual transformation of love. Because love will be used to transcend and ultimately to create children in the golden future. And when you have children, unlike it is today, it will be celebrated to the highest mountains because in the golden future, when you copulate, that is a high honor and a high ranking. And you have to be at a certain level energetically to be able to produce children in the golden age. So unlike it is now, Anybody can lay down and have a baby, even low vibrational people. It won't be like that in the golden future. Only high vibrational beings will be allowed to populate. And it makes sense because they're going to be bringing in high level beings. They're going to be bringing in ascendant masters. They're going to be bringing in gods and goddesses. And even though there are God and goddesses and the Senate masters already here in this time and era, it's not going to be as prevalent as it will be in the golden future. Almost everyone you run into is going to be a God or goddess or an ascended master. There's not going to be any so-called thing as low vibrations. Only the highest vibrations can enter. So you need to be in your highest vibrations now because we're in the first year of the entrance of the golden future, which means that it's actually starting now. But it's going to take us about 49 years to fully transform into it. It's going to take us that long. We're not going to die. You know, usually diseases is the, the, the shit that takes us out. You know what I'm saying? Disease and illness. There's not going to be no diseases or illnesses there. So therefore, we're not going to die. We're just going to enter from the golden future into the 1,000 year reign of prosperity and peace. Peace and prosperity. See, the Bible left the prosperity part out. It just said it was going to be a thousand years of peace. But when you have connections where I channel the most high directly, I channel source directly. I get the inside scoop on anything I want to know. Ask my best friend, Dana. There is not anything that I don't know. And if I don't know it, I'll get the answer. And I don't have to wait. I get the answer right then and there. That's how connected I am. Mm -hmm. So, with that being said, the the I did a video um, earlier, a short little video. I think it's about three minutes fifty four, three minutes fifty four seconds. Yep, you might want to check that out. Might might want to click on that. But when you and your twin flame, your star mate, your higher level soulmate. When you guys intertwine and you make love and you're both at 5D, your chakra is no longer going to be the color orange. It's going to turn to the soft, beautiful pink love of compassion. And you're going to merge. You're going to have androgyny. Okay? Where you're both male and female. That's how it was at the beginning. Adam was also Adama. 
Eve was Eve and Steve. Honestly. I wouldn't make this up. I have no reason to lie to you. The truth is revealed for those who turn within and stop going by textbooks. I'm not saying not to read. Books are great. I love them. Okay. I have a plethora of books. But I tell you what, in the grand scheme of things, for twin flames, you got those keys, those three keys, and that is peace, love, and unity. But you got to have it within your union before you can give it to the rest of the world. Your union should be your priority and your main focus. Even if you're in separation, you better find a way to make peace. You better find a way to reach out to that person and, and talk sense into that person and let them know what they're giving up. You're giving up your life. The most high is not playing. You're giving up your sanity. Okay? This... Um, what should I say? Test of your love between you and your beloved is going to keep coming back to you full circle until you say, you know what? I surrender. You guys need to surrender to the most high will. The most high will is for every one of you to have union. Figure out which role you guys want to play. You want to play lovers? You want to play power couple? You want to play business partners? You want to just play friends? I don't know, but figure it out and figure it out fast because you guys are going to forever be a part of each other's lives. And lives. And, and in one shape or form, you're going to have to have constant contact because twin flames, you have been chosen. To promote love and light into the world of darkness. You have been chosen to be the leaders in this, the forerunners. How are you going to lead by example of love? When you don't even show your twin flame love. You have to lead by example with the most high. You can't be a hypocrite. You can't promote love and light when you can't forgive your twin for something that they probably don't even know they did to you. They probably don't even know it. You probably didn't even tell them why you was mad at them or why you're still holding that grudge against them. Let everything that you do from now on be out of love and compassion. Yes, it's going to make you feel vulnerable. It may even pain some of you. Let that pain break your heart open, baby. That's what it did to me. I took the pain that my twin flame inflicted on me. And I channeled it. And I got my spiritual crown i got my spiritual wings my spiritual sword and a whole lot of spiritual gifts that i'm not going to name oh and when you and your twin flame finally come into union in the physical because you're already in union right now in the 5d but when you come into union in the physical baby not only do you get that pink chakra, which is, remember, there's beings that 
you may not know of that is watching you. They're neither good or bad. They're just observers. They can see that pink chakra color. And they'll be like, that's an ascended being right there. We can't mess with that person because they have already ascended above the 3D. And these beings only observe those that are in the 3D. So just know that having that pink soft sacral chakra color also makes you more clear sentient. It brings more clear sentience into your body. You just know, you just have this inner knowing. You just don't know how you know. You just know. That's me. My whole life I've been clear sentience. I'm all four clairs. That's because I've mastered my psychic abilities lifetime after lifetime. And this one, I probably mastered it more than any of them besides when I was in my goddess era. When I was a goddess, and I'm not going to say which goddess that is. Um, that's for another discussion, topic of discussion. <laughs> but um, at any rate, the Most High is giving you the opportunity to make your choice now. What are you going to do? Are you going to be stubborn and not contact your twin flame or not talk to your twin flame and continue to put this distance between your twin flame? Because what you're doing to your twin flame, you're actually doing to yourself. When you put distance between you and your twin flame, you're putting distance between you and the most high as well. You're putting distance between you and your ascension. You can only go so far without your twin flame. This is a together journey, not a solo journey. You're not a soulmate. You're a twin flame. See, soulmates, they have their solo journeys. And although twin flames have their own journeys, very true. It was never meant, even on your solo journey, for you to journey alone and without your twin. Now, the most high definitely separates us, especially when we are not appreciative of what we have with our twins. But it's only temporary, not permanent. It was never meant to be permanent. This is the reason why both of y'all heart hurts for one another. You may not like the person, you may not can stand your twin flame. But the heart wants what the heart freaking wants, damn it. It ain't going to settle for a soulmate. And sometimes it won't even settle for a higher level soulmate. Because once you have had sex with your twin flame, hey, like Rihanna said, sex with me is amazing. Sex with her going to be all right. But with me, it's going to be amazing. And that's the same way twin flames feel. Some twin flames have not had that level of excitement yet. I know a lot of twins that haven't even had sex with their twin flame. But baby, 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 when you do, oh my God, oh my goodness. All I'm going to say is be prepared to speak another language because you're going to be speaking in tongues. Okay. It is going to blow your mind. And for those of you that are circling back, circling back around like Ashanti and Nelly, you already see they got a baby on the way and they, they about to get married. What's that tell you? Definitely couldn't have been the same way that it was back then. Had to be better. Because look at the progression. Are you picking up when I'm laying down? It's uh, it's trivial. The Most High is telling me uh, the reason why 
you don't want to move forward because of society. What's society going to say? Somebody might have to leave a husband. Somebody might have to leave a wife, a baby mama, a baby daddy in order to them, excuse me, in order for them to be back with their twin flame. So what? Nelly left his fiance, his girlfriend. I don't think he proposed to her, but then there's rumors that he did. But whatever the case is, he knew where his heart was. He knew where his heart lied. And it was with Ashanti. Ashanti's heart always resided with Nelly. That just goes to show you. And their, their love is a driving force. You know how many people that were going to walk away from their relationships? And they didn't? Because they seen what Nelly and Ashanti got, they want that too. And they're working on it. No relationship is perfect, but it's worth it in the end. I'm not making this all about twin flames, but I'm not going to lie. We have it the hardest. So that's why sometimes I spend more time when I'm talking to them. Because they need this guidance. They need this wisdom. This wisdom that I have is ancient. It's old. It's before the world was even formed. You don't even know your power. Twin flames, you have seen the rise and the fall of civilizations like Lemuria. Atlantis, you've seen it. You witnessed it with your own two eyes. So why can't you get your shift together? You just seen it all. You probably have done it all. Okay. Why can't you just get it together? You're going to have to do it eventually. Why not do it now? Why slow down your own progress? Why delay your own progress? See, the faster that you get into 5D, the more advanced you will be when a time comes for the golden future. You may be one of the ones that help develop the technology that's going to be there, the new technology. We need you to tap in. We need you to come online and tap into your DNA, know who you are, so we can use your gifts because we need you right now. Some of you are going to be um, the biggest inventor, inventors of that era. Some are you going to be Einstein. Some are you going to be Tesla. Sorry, y'all. I'm grabbing for a piece of chocolate. <laughs> but uh, anyway, the most high is ready to use you now. And you think 50 years is a long time. It's not. We, got four, we are already down one. We got 49 to go. Okay. So that's the message. Be ready. Don't delay. Don't even think about it. Just do it. Because you already know how we are. We start thinking about some stuff. We talk ourselves out of doing it. Why do we always talk ourselves out of doing what's right? But we don't even got to talk ourselves into doing the shit that we know we don't got no business doing. <laughs> it's interesting. Okay. Well, like I said again, please join my Patreon because I'm not dropping any more deep jewels anymore on just a regular YouTube platform. 
Unless the most high tell me. Like he did tonight. And that is very. It's very infrequent. Okay. So. Let's recap. What did you learn today? You learned about the golden future, and that's going to come before the thousand year reign of peace and prosperity. The Bible don't teach you about the prosperity part because they want you to be just dependent on the system more than God. They ain't going to teach you you're going to have prosperity for yourself, and everybody's going to be proper, prosperous. Everybody's going to have their own profession. And working for themselves. And we're going to do just fine without money. There is not going to be no money there, y'all. What for? What we need money for? We're going to do like we did originally at the beginning. And we're going to trade our goods and services. Well, I'll give you this for whatever you think is reasonable. For exchange of what you got. And we're going to be of higher consciousness, all of us. And there ain't going to be no police or prison or jail. Because there ain't going to be no crimes committed there. It's going to be nothing but the love frequency and vibration. And in the love frequency and vibration, there ain't going to be no polygamy there. Because you ain't going to be fucking on, on everybody. That's low vibrational. Because remember, there in the golden future, sex is sacred. And it's only exchanged between you and another. And that another is going to be your beloved. Your love of your life. Man, I'm telling you. Half of these, half of these people haven't met the love of their lives yet that are polygamous people. Because if they did... They wouldn't want to sleep with nobody else. I know I never wanted to sleep with anyone else other than my torn flame. But I was placed in a position to where I had to move on. Because he wasn't trying to hear nothing I was trying to say at that time. And I was not about to be neglected sexually. <laughs> and now, I don't even care. It don't even matter. You see what I'm saying? So your, your keys to get in is love, peace, and unity, and not judging people, non judgment. And no fears and no doubts. Don't be afraid to reach out to your twin and make it work. Okay, try to make it work. And if they keep on being stupid, they got to an answer to the courts, the spiritual courts, and they got to an answer to the most high. And that's not your problem. Okay, but don't be two dummies. You already got one dummy. You don't need it. And I'm not saying this to be funny, but if you call yourself awakened and you got a twin flame, and you purposely preventing yourself from being with that twin flame. When you know that's the very purpose of why you incarnated. You're dumb. I mean, not intelligent at all. You're just a well-trained dummy. And remember, this message is not coming from me. It's coming from the most high. You know what I'm saying? I am nothing but the messenger. If it triggers you, good. Let it trigger you into doing something good for yourself. Like my twin flame journey triggered me to become the enlightened being that I am right now. You have so much that 
the Most High has endowed you with. And I'm not just talking about your spiritual gifts. I'm talking about arcane knowledge, hidden knowledge, the, the knowledge of the star religion, okay? The cosmos. Some of you know stuff that you don't even know how you know you know, but you know. And it ain't of this era. It's not even of this world. It's cosmic. <coughs> okay? Some of you, a lot of you, especially the divine masculines, are going to be teachers of the new world and the golden future. And you're going to be teaching the people. And it's not going to be religion. It's going to be spirituality. It's going to be the truth. It's going to be the things that have been hidden that are going to be unveiled. And the source is going to be giving you downloads on what to tell the people. And it's going to be a collective consciousness like it is now. We don't all know each other, but we all believe the same damn thing. Or you wouldn't even be on my channel. You wouldn't even be here if you didn't believe what I was saying. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end it on a note because it's 4.02 on the clock. And um, that's past my bedtime. That's beyond. Uh -huh. I should have been asleep at least four hours ago. Okay. So, without further ado, let me go ahead and go to my slumber so I can go ahead on these astral planes and be with my twin flame. Mm. All right, you guys, I love you. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Namaste.